Hello, welcome to the lecture which is the continuation of uh, the last lecture that is cut sets for accident scenarios. Uh, in last lecture, I have explained you that uh, the detail of this that how the cut sets for accident scenarios will be developed. In this lecture, we will basically see that uh, with reference to a uh, example uh, case type um, case study type although I cannot say this is probably case study because uh, I have taken from this book Modernist book and that is fire protection system and we will see that how the uh, that concept cut sets along accident scenario can be developed for the fire protection system and, uh, and at the same time the several important measures uh, what we have discussed earlier uh, that can also be uh, discussed further. Okay. So, it is in one hand I can tell you that it is a some kind of repetition of the previous um, two three lectures, uh, but it is required because it, it, it is it is related to a good example which is a fire protection system when fire breaks out. Okay. So, the contents we will uh, not uh, discuss in detail, we will just uh, touch the protection system. The what we are considering because already we have discussed this. Then the event tree we will develop, then we will link with the fault tree for uh, on side fire protection and, and also off side fire protection. Then finally, with the, uh, with the concepts and the Boolean uh, algebra what we have used in the last lecture using this how the different accident scenarios are developed. In addition what happened? In case of common cause failure uh, that uh, uh, what is the change in cut set uh, that will be discussed also more precisely the common cause failure will be considered here. Okay. So, let us hope that by another 20 minutes of time we will be able to finish it. So, this is what is our system. So, <coughs> there are two injection nozzle 1 and 2 primarily injection nozzle 1 works injection nozzle 2 works when injection nozzle 1 fails both the uh, nozzles are filled by uh, fed by identical pumps that p1 and p2 and they are getting water from the water tank uh, with several valves so that inlet valve and outlet valves are there and in case uh, in case of uh, the nozzle one fails particularly the pump one fails in that case what will happen there is uh, alarm actuator which will basically uh, <coughs> make uh, make the other system uh, to work and ultimately there is operator who will if both the things fails ultimately the pump one and pump two both fails or other way I can say the two system fails here on site protection measures. So, then the local fire department will be called by the operator. Please note then, then there are two things one is on site protection measures another one is off site protection measure. On site protection measure is the, in, the no, injection nozzle 1 and 2 or uh, fed by pump 1 and pump 2 that is the standby system and you will find out that the, the pumps are basically sourced by offside power most of the time and if they, that power is not available there is diesel generator which will ultimately uh, in case of power goes off then diesel generator will ultimately work and the pump will be pump will be uh, feeding the power and the alarm actuator is battery driven. So, even if there is no power but that will uh, work. So, uh, we have we have discussed this earlier. Now, let us see that what are the fault tree first, okay, event tree first. What is event tree here? That initiating event is fire and then on site protection measure should work and if on site protection measure is successful, then off site protection measure is not required because the operator will not call the uh, off site protection measure. So, in this case because as fire uh, breaks out what will happen there will be some loss we are writing minor loss. 
Now, if on-site protection measure fail, then off-site protection system will work, which is basically the local fire brigade. So, they uh, will come and ultimately uh, there will be time delay. So, as a result what happen, even if the off-site protection system will be successful, but there will be there by that time sufficient time may elapsed and ultimately there will be major accident what a major impact will be there. And if the outside uh, offside pot fire protection system also fails then what will happen it will be catastrophic one the total system will destroy including loss of people and other things also. So, now this is our basically accident sequence in terms of fire event occur and the uh, our how our fire protection system works and accordingly the scenarios is developed. So, it this is S 1, this is S 2 and this is S 3. So, you may you will be interested to know what is the probability of S 1, probability of S 2 and probability of S 3 and you will also be interested to know suppose S 1 occur then what are the basic event related to fire protection system, on site fire protection system they are responsible which one is more important which one is less important where we will uh, focus more or uh, what preventive measures should be there all those things will be with reference to may be catastrophic may be major may be minor those kind of information can be generated from the if you know the cut sheets along the accident sequences by linking the fault tree of the pivotal events. Okay. So, let us see the fault tree for the first one on site on site on site fire protection system fails. So, when on site fire protection system will fail when both the system fail on site first one is the primary injection path fail secondary or the second secondary injection path or failure of the injection path 2 failure of injection path 1. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you see that they are identical. So, that is why here, here what happened the nozzle, then valve, then pump, then valve, then tank. Nozzle, valve, pump, valve, tank because these two system are similar system. And then why pump fails that, that, that pump failure operator fails to start pump, pump available alarm alarm actuator failures no power to pump and dependent failure of pump 1 and 2 ok. So, why this dependent failure because you will find actually these two are these two pumps are uh, pumps are, are have sharing common cause. So, that is why uh, when you are if if you have such standby system or identical system and which are basically susceptible to common cause failure. So, what will happen the failure of any any unit will be because of its own failure the independent failure plus the common cause failure that is what we have seen in uh, last uh, one class may not be the immediate last class, but in one of the classes we have seen. So, as a result that is to be added the dependent one. So, that is what I said that dependent or common cause failure is also added here. So, okay. so this is the fault tree. Now, what will be the what will be the cut set for this? So, as, as this one is your OR gate then this plus this plus this plus this plus this into because it is AND gate this all. So, if this occur and this occur this will occur. So, ultimately find out the cut set for all uh, this side and this side and then if you multiply the two you will be getting the common uh, several cut sets for this one. And again for for this you have to follow OR gate and again for this AND gate and the same manner may be MOCAS algorithm you use and find out the all the cut sets. So, now uh, given the different values basic event probability values like operator fails to start pump available all those values then ultimately your your the on site 
protection system fail the probability is 0 0.0028. Now, let us see that ultimately what are the cut sets, there are 24 cut sets that cut start starting from CCF, CCF alone because common cause both side pump 1 and pump 2, two both side it will work. So, that one unit order 1 that is one cut set, then pump 1, pump 2 independent failure, then operator 1, pump 1 like this, like this what happened how many card sets there are 24 card sets identified and we all know the probability of the basic event so the probability of the card sets are also found out you can check now <clears throat> the percentage contribution with rep with the total failure then you will find out that this one is very high so that mean common cause as you know that common cause failure probability is far far more than the neutral event failure probability that is established here also. So, see I said that 24, so ultimately 24, 24 cut sets, okay. some probability values are very low. So, we may ignore those, uh, those probability values or those, those cut sets you can ignore. Uh, but uh, it all depends on the impact. So, whether that uh, probability is low, but maybe impact is high. So, then you require more protection because risk is important here. Then <coughs> let us see the importance measures. What happened with reference to this fault tree? So, different uh, basic events are there. How many basic events are there? I think there are 14 basic events. Yes, 14 basic events with reference to the first on site uh, fire protection system. So, you have already seen that the what is the uh, probability 0 0.0028 that is the top event probability that first that on site protection system fails. Then you are interested to know uh, that uh, what are the how these basic events they are basically contributing which one is contributing maximum. So, we have earlier seen that uh, that the Birmingham importance measure, Fasle Vassal importance measure, risk redu reduction, decrease factor, risk increase factors we have discussed earlier. So, so ultimately I uh, we, we will little elaborate in on risk uh, decrease and risk increase factor. What is the message you are in? Suppose risk when what is risk decrease factor? and what is risk increase factors. So, if for example, this is CF, the availability, unavailability probability is what is this 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So, now if you make it fully available that means probability becomes 0, unavailability becomes 0, then what will happen? How much risk is reduced? So, that will be the contribution of CCF and that value is written here like this. So, some more values are there, okay. although most of the values actually almost near about 0 it is written here, but uh, some point values are uh, some values are there after few 0. So, <clears throat> now what happened? Uh, what happened actually here? Suppose you, you may find out that for out of so many uh, so many basic event in some cases the risk decrease factor is very high some cases may be negligible, but some cases may be medium. So, if you if you if you prioritize them the the basic event having the uh, having a reasonably high value of RDA risk decrease factor what is the physical meaning of it. So, that means, if you make it available, so it will reduce the risk to a large extent. So, that is why you focus on its improvement, focus on its improvement so that it will be available. Now, what is risk increase factor here? Risk increase factor means, if it is not available all the time. So, if you make it 1, what will happen? How much risk is increased? 
So one end risk decrease factor, you, you make it available, make probability of failure is 0. Risk increase factors make it completely unavailable, probability of failure is 1. So that time what will happen that how much risk is risk is increased there. Okay. So, so what you require to do then? You require to maintain the health of the system, the status quo for the component whose risk increase factor is high. Physically, that is the message for risk reduction and a risk decrease factor and risk increase factor. So, I hope that this is uh, not a difficult one for you because already you have seen all those things. Now, I am just el elaborating more so that you will you, you, you will get a revisit opportunity and I request all of you to calculate all, all those things given the data. This one we have taken from another book written by Modaris. So, Modaris book uh, you just go through Modaris book and see this case and you, you their data also given. So, using the data maybe if you, you can develop program or if you have some software use it and find out those values. Okay. The prime the main, so main purpose here is basically to tell you that how the importance measures will be will be interpreted because the computation of importance measures I have given you in earlier slides or earlier lectures. So, then another one is what is this that fault tree for offside fire protection system. So, this is our system 2 along the fault event tree and its its basically fault tree is like this. So, here is and or so if I say this is A, this is B band and this is C then this will be A B and C. So, basically the system failure if it is F 2 then it is C plus A B. If you, you know this one and this one multiply this add this finally, you will be getting the this probability value that part you know. Okay. Now, you can develop its importance measures and other things and then then what happened you see that cut sets for the second one and the importance measures you are able to calculate like this. Okay. Then what happened you are interested not interested to know the cut sets for the fault tree of the two different uh, that protection measures like on side and off side protection measures. Not only that what do you want? You want to know the cut sets for the accident scenario. How many scenarios are there? If I go to the event tree, how many scenarios are there? 1, 2, 3 scenarios are there. So, there are 3 sequences. This is one sequence, this one is another sequence, this one is another sequence. So, if I, if I write the last sequence is this one. So, we are saying that sequence 1, sequence 2 and sequence 3. You want to find out the cut sets for all those sequence, these are the accident scenarios. That is what we discussed in last class and now with reference to this example also you just see. And that is what we are saying. So, your scenario 1 this is the case probability value is this scenario 2 there are many dot 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 so many and you, you, you develop you find out how many more are there and then their probability and ultimately some probability of this. So, that means the probability of scenario 2 is this given the fire probability 0 0.00 I think some 387 something. And then the scenario 3 again these 2 plus some more is there we have not written all those things though you are getting this probability. Okay. So, this is what is basically uh, you are you, you are able to you are linking linking the that means the calculation of frequency of accident scenarios 
scenarios, accident scenarios, three scenarios and like this. Okay. So, then <coughs> after so much of calculation what is remaining that this is my initiating event probability then from the first fault tree you found that the failure probability is this 0 0.0028 success probability you get and then here also failure probability and success probability and multiplying this these are the accident scenarios and different probability ok. So, <coughs> what you have learned then you have learned in this particular exa case what we have we have related we have related many things first we have basically started with a real life problem which is basically fire protection then we said that there will be two types of uh, protection one is offsite another one is on site on site one again having standby now in the standby case there are two pumps which are identical and susceptible to common causes so the common cause uh, failure is also included there and accordingly what happened when we have developed the fault tree that common cause failure is also included there and how to include common cause failure that one we have also given. But we have not given you that how the common cause failure is quantified. So in, in moderate book that is there, there are different models to do this. <coughs> one of the model is beta factor model. So those who are interested. Uh, in knowing dependent failures. So, I request all of them to uh, go through that chapter dependent failure by modal race. Okay. So, then what happened then the you have you have developed the fault tree along the along this or for this on site as well as off site and this is the accident paths. So, you have to do this along this. So, when once you have the fault tree for, uh, for this protection measure and this protection measure you, you know the probability of failure through cut sets. So, you have developed cut sets, cut sets you have developed considering the dependent failure that is the common cause failure also. Here also you develop the cut sets. So, when you have the cut sets for the two then ultimately any scenario what is that uh, any scenario the outcome any accident scenario or accident sequence these are nothing but the multiplication of the individual that system uh, scenarios like here success scenario failure scenario. And then what happened you uh, through through boolean algebra what you have done you have finally come down to the cut sets for the accident scenarios and those cut sets are very very important because all those cut sets basically lead to this scenario. So, what you require? You require protection configuration or maybe you require further measures to improve this means to reduce the probability of the accident happening uh, for a particular accident scenario. So, then the barrier analysis will come into consideration. So, that means uh, uh, this fire protection fails. So, what more barri barrier should be given here? What barrier should be given here? The barrier analysis is very, very important ok. So, uh, this is this is the utility of this particular model. Now, you have seen you have seen the you have seen the fault tree now I am going to one of the fault tree ok. Let it be like this this fault tree only. So, offside count protection system fails why it fails if I go by cut set these two a this into this plus this. So, it there should be barrier. So, that this will not fail or this will not happen similarly barrier should be here also. If any one of the two can not happen this will not happen. So, barrier will be there, there here also. So, this barrier analysis is very very important. So, as I told you earlier that bow tie there will be center event which is top event for event fault tree and your 
inventory inventory initiating event inventory now we have already shown you that how how you will basically basically quantify this one and then also quantify the scenarios how cut set linking cut set different possibilities that is explained so far but we have not explained that how to prevent all those things to happen that concept is known as safety barrier analysis so we will discuss in next class that safety barrier analysis thank you